Okay, so today I want to create a little interface to extract audio from from an MP3. So uh, with FFmpeg. So let's go into a folder where I get my FFmpeg file, and uh, and let's see. For example, here, um, let me go into this one. I want to get the from this file here some uh, uh, the, the audio. So uh, get audio and uh, dot pi and so this is the the command that lets me get my audio from the okay this is the let me call it uh, mm, a st string and um, I need output here um, output 8 but I don't want to use just uh, one uh, kind of uh, I want to use an interface with the Kinter, so I'm going to create a window right now in which I can uh, this is how you can create a window with just the, these three lines of code here you see the window here then I'm going to put an entry to get the, the input of the user This is how you create it and make it visible. So just very simple thing. There it is. Now in this entry, I want to get this title here. So um, I'm also gonna put a label that indicates what you are going to do. Let me call this label, and this goes in capital letter. And the label will have um, will indicate what you get to do with the text that is to insert name of the the file you want to get the audio from. That in this case should be out put 8 dot mp4 and I should get a list of the things uh, instead of this so maybe instead of this choose the audio from choose the mp4 to get the audio from so I will go and import OS import glob instead then I will create a list box here make it visible and then I want to insert into the list box from um, 1.0 I think or tk dot end it's the same I wanna for file in glob uh, dot glob dot mp4 Here is the list. Now if I double click one of the item of the list, I will go into entry set Add to entry function that I will put, let's say, here.
and uh, v dot set entry dot get no mm, sorry a little okay so I get I need to the core selection that is the item selected is lc dot core core selection and uh, this is the number of the selection then uh, instead the the item is list dot get n okay and then I wanted to put it into the entry into the v dot set item yes and v is the tk dot string int I think or int var let's say it's a number no string var text variable is equal to v okay so this will uh, put the selection into the item I think okay so now I choose here what I want after I choose it I should I think uh, put a button maybe button to attack and in the button I want to do it um, what we are trying to do here is to um, take the audio out of it okay so let's say here text equal equal get audio get audio audio and now the command here that will do that is get audio okay and we're gonna define another function here get audio and we're gonna use the what is the string this string here <laughs> and uh, here I want to put an F here to format and put a variable in here that is the um, v.get what is inside um, the entry I could also use entry.get if you prefer so entry.get etc etc and we'll go to music.mp3 and call it audio don't like the music thing so this is a string the command that will be done with OS So OS dot 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 system maybe string. We will see if this works. And after let's see if we can also run the file. So output eight gate audio. It's making something. Okay. And uh, as you can see, it worked. And I think you can see the file here audio MP3 is this one. We can launch it even uh, without. Uh, okay. It fully worked. 
and so this is a little program to to get audio from a file, a list of file with the Kinter. Thank you and see you next time. Hope you enjoyed my program here.